This week, we're going to hear from USDA research agronomist Jose Franco as he discusses alternatives to only using cereal rye as a winter cover crop in the upper Midwest. Some of these alternatives include triticale, hairy vetch, and winter camelina. Here's what Franco and his team of researchers are looking for with those trials. We're interested in a few different things, right? So we want to we want to diversify so that we can potentially reduce any negative impact on the next corn crop. So we're working in a corn silage system, so our corn on corn rotation. So we're planting these cover crops uh, after corn silage harvest. We're applying applying dairy manure, and then the next year we're harvesting them for forage and then planting another corn crop to see the response of that corn crop. Um, so we want to see if diversifying them and reducing that proportion of cereal rye has any uh, potential benefit to the next corn crop. Uh, we're looking at the pollinators with winter camelina, and we're looking at the nutrient uptake with these different cover crop species and mixtures. So we're looking at soil nitrates as a, as a, um, in a direct me indirect measurement of um, water quality. Um, and then when rye hits the boot stage, we're harvesting all of these cover crops for forage. So we'll look at um, productivity. So look at forage yields, as well as do uh, run a series of nutritive value forage quality metrics on them. And you can head to covercropstrategies.com to learn more about these alternative cover crops that Franco and his team are studying.